reed switch is going on. Not the reed switch, the, the on switch, the power switch. Mark. Okay, we got it. Uh, Charlie, where did you take your pan from? Uh, hmm. On the south rim of that crater. Okay. About uh, 10 feet by, uh, to the uh, 4 o'clock position of the rover. Okay, John, I guess we won't need a pan if uh, you can just get the LPM. All right. Okay, John, a minute. Wait a minute, I'm deploying it. No, oh, I thought you gave a mark. All right, Turn I understand. It. Yeah, I did. We're turning on. Tony, I'm sampling right in front of the rover. About oh. 10 feet, and I got a fist-sized rock out here. Okay. It's captured in the old tongs. And was captured in the old tongs. Okay, that's aligned perfectly. Okay, will do. Boy, 
Okay, I'm going to grab that one. That's a fresh sharp white rock, Houston, that I have never seen the like of. Very angular. Charlie, look at this rock. That has got to be planted. What box did you find it, John? Right down there, and that, and that oh, yeah. and all that white rock. Uh -huh. Look at these little crystals in it. <laughs> oh, that could be. A big white angular rock. And it's, uh, but the, all the crystals in there are very small. That, that, that is a uh, crystal rock. We're going to get that one. That's the first one I've seen here that I really believe is a crystal rock. You want to put it in the padded bag? Outstanding. Uh, we have to break it in two. Oh. No, we don't need that in the padded bag. blame that pitch meter for falling down. Man, I've fallen down twice. Not badly. The rover wheels are covered with dust, John. And, John, do you have a bag number for your white rod? Or have you collected it yet? I made a grab sample out of it, Houston. Okay. Too big for a bag, wasn't it, John? Yeah, it was too big for a bag. Okay. It's, uh... You don't. Amazing how you can trip over, how you can be going along and trip over a rock, and, uh... I'm one of these guys that always looks down, and, uh... It's to be able to trip over them going forward. Tony, uh, your samples are complete here. 
I'm uh, leaving with frame count number... Looks like about 170, Tony. I better change mags uh, before I uh, start out on... We start out here, over. Okay, sounds good. Okay, and while you're up there, you might adjust the DAC. Maybe you can get it running. It's, I already did, and it's running. It'll be running. Okay, good show. John? Yes, sir. That is the best sample we got. I know it. I'll tell you. That is a crystalline rock, if I've ever seen a crystalline rock. First one today. Yeah. <laughs> At least the first one you could say was one, maybe. That is a great one. rock. Okay, John, could you, when you get around there, could you give me a film mag, black and white? Okay. I guess Which we could call that one the Great Tony? Young. Oh, come on. It's not very big, but it's just a nice rock. Okay. Yeah, it was made about, it looks like it's about three days old. So it must be on the order of four billion. Which one you want, Charlie? Uh, the black, and, any black and white, it doesn't matter. Wrong pocket. Any black and white. Yeah, any black and white. Magazine eye. Uh, okay, you want to I... Shut up a roll of black and white? Yeah. 70. Okay. Uh oh. Uh -oh. I got it. Here you go. Okay. Dark slide is in the camera box. It runs. I got dust on it. you didn't get any dust on that LeCru while you're working around there, we would like you to brush it off again. We're really heating up on that. It's clean. Okay. It is clean. It's clean. Honest. Okay, that's okay. You want to shut it down for a while? Uh, no, that's all right. And Charlie, on your LRV readouts, uh, we won't be needing volts, so why don't we just leave that switch in amps? Okay. Got it in amps. Okay. Okay, it's, it's dusted. Going downhill, it doesn't get near as much dust on as it did coming up. For some reason. Maybe that's because it was uh, <laughs> four kilometers one way and half of one the other. That's probably the reason. Hope I can get back in this beauty here now. You're in. Okay, we've got uh, the don't, uh, don't do anything with magnetometer reading. Uh, station 5 there is 125 gamma down. The outset site was 230 gamma, a uh, correction, up. The outset site was 230 gamma down, and Fook was 180 down. Hey, John, uh, do you have switch position 1? No, I'm going to 1 right now. Okay, good show. 